Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It is happening. I repeat. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. It is happening. Let's go. Make it all come true. What is going on, you guys? It's your Gravity Spike Gamer here, back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. And a couple of days ago, you guys know that I made a video talking about how annoying Ranked had become. Ranked has been ruined. It has been ravaged, smashed, broken, annihilated, destroyed, abolished, shattered, wrecked, obliterated, eradicated, and completely wasted. I haven't even streamed in the last three days because I just don't want to play the game because of what the meta is currently like well i have an update for you guys a couple of days ago call of duty mobile released a statement about what was going to happen in the next season however less than 16 hours ago at the time of recording this video there was a post released for the call of duty vietnam facebook page where there was confirmation that things were gonna be changed that's right the most annoying score streak in the game being the rcxt is getting a change i'm about to get shocked i love this game it's my favorite it's my favorite game i love this game i i, I really enjoy playing ranked at the minute the superman spikes the thor hammers oh come on dude literally oh my gosh bro the most aggravating operator inside of call of duty mobile is also getting a change along with a bunch of other changes inside of the game and we're gonna go into every single one in today's video and check out and see what i personally think about them and at the end i want you to tell me what you think about them but before we get into this make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are less than 65,000 subscribers away from 1 million subscribers and that was my childhood dream goal if you could hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it So let's quickly get some of these stuff out of the way before we talk about the RC car and the gravity spikes. As you can see on screen right now, they leaked in this post that the Gulag was going to be added into Call of Duty Mobile, which is like a 1v1 arena map for the Battle Royale Warzone inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the PC and console. This map will be played in the 1v1 duel mode for Call of Duty Mobile, which will be really interesting. I'll definitely make sure to make a video of me 1v1ing my subscribers in this brand new map in the 1v1 duel mode, so make sure to stick around for that. Also, all of the seasonal challenges are ending on the 4th of June, which leads me to believe that we may get new seasonal challenges in either the 4th or the 5th of June, which could also mean that that is the day where the update actually drops. They're also talking about giving away certain skins, which if you guys are interested in, there is a link in the description where my Twitter is giving away either the distraction, the Sultana, the Sheriff, and the Samurai skin. Also, they released a behind the scenes look at how they actually made the season six theme music, which I reacted to on my clips channel. It's actually really, really cool. And then they actually give us an update on bundles. I know a lot of people love bundles. I love bundles. Unfortunately, they haven't released a bundle yet of a skin that I don't already have. <laughs> as you can see right here they say generally we have been releasing bundles every single tuesday and we received many questions recently about the no smoking bundle while we didn't specify when that was dropping this week it is out as of yesterday a lot of you guys probably seen that inside of the game i'm so happy they are releasing bundles now every single tuesday also talk about kill confirm bug reports latency related issues another kind of interesting but not good enough to be in this video stuff they then talk about the battle royale extension there is like five or six new places coming in the battle royale game mode which is kind of crazy because they're almost adding an additional 50 percent of places to the map all right so here is the juicy stuff this was actually posted in i believe the vietnamese call of duty mobile facebook page it talks about the update being released in june 6th 
and the new version capacity only is 1.3 gigabytes total. The new season rewards are the HBR Longblood, which I believe is the Skull and Bones. It's only a rare skin, so it's very easy to get. Then a new MSMC skin and a new battery skin. Since this is translated from Vietnamese, it's kind of weird English, but you can still understand what he is trying to say here. They go on to talk about player experience, improving calculating points, optimizing interfaces, and also calculating points in BR. It looks like the SMG pistol gun, the Q9, which is what we thought would be called the MP5, is gonna be released inside of the battle pass for free, which is really good. There's also the cluster missile or the cluster strike, I believe, being released inside of the free pass for you guys to obtain. It's another new score streak, kind of like the predator missile, except that you can control three different predator missiles from the one strike. Then they talk about the attack of the dead, which is the infected mode we've talked about before, which is amazing. And then they say about Tunisia and Gulag being released, which is great. Here are all of the new rules and the new places inside of Battle Royale for you guys to actually play in. Super, super cool. A bunch of new places. I might hop back into Battle Royale just for this because there is so much being added to it and it looks really awesome. There's also new guns being added to BR and a new legendary weapon. There's also new accessories inside of BR. All right, finally, we are in to the multiplayer mode fixes. So the stability of the Man of War is getting fixed. We already knew that. We also already knew that the M4 shooting and fire rate was going to be increased as well. Outlaw gun damage, we already knew it. And the flexibility of the MSMC, we've seen that coming from a mile away. They talk about an assistance card and a supplement card. I'm not sure what these actually mean, but if you could give me any help on that, let me know in the comment section down below so that I can know what that actually means. They talk about defense gun and air fireworks? I have no idea what that is. I think the defense gun is the sentry gun, but the air fireworks, I really don't know what that is. I think the air fireworks might be the Sam turret. Either way, moving on to the juicy stuff where we see the gravity spikes and the shock RC. Reduce the time to recover the gravity after destroying the enemy. Needs longer time, increase heights when jumping. So what I'm getting from this is that once you hit the ground with the gravity spike, you can run away instantly, which feels like it's getting a buff and being made better. But then it said needs longer time, which makes me believe that maybe it's a nerf. However, increase heights when jumping. So they go further up into the air, which means they're in the air longer and you have a better chance at being able to jump and get out of the way of the gravity spike which I think is great. I'm really, really happy about that. I hope they also add like a sound so that you can hear it if it's behind you when they jump, but that's great, finally. Then they talk about reduce the effective time of the RC electric shocking, which means that you, when you get hit by an RC car, it will not stay on you for as long as it does right now, which is like easily one second to three seconds, depending on how fast you tap your shit button to get it out of your vision. The higher the players with the higher scores will be able to escape from the electric shock. I'm not sure what that means. The number of RC shocking electricity and people on the same team is restricted. Electric transmission molecules will not be activated often. Again, I'm not sure what that means, but we know for sure that it will be getting nerfed because the effective time of the RC shocking is going to be much faster. There's also a bunch of other multiplayer mode fixes on screen right now for you guys if you want to see what is going to be happening and then a bunch of BR fixes as well. Feel free to pause the video on those screenshots to check what is going to be updated inside of the game. There's also going to be double XP and stuff like that. I don't really care about double XP. I've been level 150 since the game was released. But there's also going to be a new group chat feature where group messages and quick chat messages will be displayed in two separate windows which is pretty interesting either way that's gonna wrap up today's video shock rc and gravity spikes are confirmed to be getting nerfed ladies and gentlemen it's about damn time boy if you're hyped about this make sure to leave a like comment down below what else you were happy about in these update patch notes and stuff i love you all live your life with purpose and let's roll the outro bye